There has long been a debate in the industry as to whether it's okay to use tap water when mixing full concentrated antifreeze. We're going to put that debate to bed in this episode of Inside the Brands. Hello and welcome back. I'm Mark Malone, the Penison Brand Director for CRP Automotive. In the past, it was common for mechanics to use tap water with their full concentrate antifreeze. However, the science has evolved, and now we like to say that professional repair technicians are well educated and up to speed on the science of water. They prefer deionized water, but will use distilled water when DI water is not available. Over the years, we've seen the damage that tap water can cause on water pumps and heat exchangers. Since heavy contamination and rusting can take over a year to show its effects, most mechanics did not initially link these failures to the tap water. It's our recommendation, like other antifreeze suppliers in the industry, to always utilize deionized water or DI water whenever possible. DI water is made using reverse osmosis, where water is passed through a semi-permeable membrane to remove the ions and large particulates of inorganic solids. These ions or particulates can cause contamination in your vehicle's cooling systems, resulting in premature water pump and heat exchanger failures. DI water is always best when using a concentrated antifreeze to create your 50-50 mix. If you don't have any available to you in your shop, using distilled water is your next best bet. The best way to remember, tap water is worse, distilled water better, deionized water is best. Have a topic you'd like to see a video on? Email us at info at crpindustries.com and put inside the brands in the subject line. For more information about Pennis and products, visit crpautomotive.com and make sure to subscribe to our channel for more videos. Thanks for watching.